Hi guys, you are watching Oxyvlogs and today I'm gonna meet with a Dubai entrepreneur. He's only 22 years old and he has his own startup. He's the CEO and co-founder of Let's Work. So let's go to meet him. Hi Omar, I'm so happy to meet you. I really like uh, what you're doing. I personally use your services, so, and I'm sure that many people haven't heard about you. You're quite a new startup in yeah. Dubai, so can you introduce yourself? So I'm Omar Al Meheri, I'm the co-founder of Let's Work. Um, Let's Work is a platform for co-working spaces around Dubai. It's a new concept where we partner with hotels and restaurants and we use them during their off-peak hours to open them up for freelancers, consultants, startups, some corporates too, just as a place for them to work, connect with people and have the flexibility to move around the city. And I know you are only 22 years old. 23. So, 23 already. So you are almost like fresh graduate, correct? Yeah, I graduated last year from uh, a university in Boston. Mm -hmm. I studied electrical engineering, so this is nothing to do with uh, my major, but uh, I've, always, I've always had a passion to start a business of my own. Oh, okay, I see. And how everything started? Um, so I came up with an idea between me and uh, Hamza, my co-founder. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we actually just wanted to find a place to start coming up with a new business plan. Um, so we looked at the different options where we had co-working spaces, we maybe like an office or mm -hmm. just the usual like working in some, some coffee shops. Um, nothing really fit what we needed and even, even the ones that fit our vibe was maybe a bit too pricey. Every day we're ordering like two coffees, a water, mm -hmm. we'd come out to 50, 60 dirhams and it's just like, why am I paying for this when the whole place is empty? Yeah. So then we came with the idea where there's such an oversaturated market of restaurants mm -hmm. in the UAE yeah. with uh, the amount of freelancers, the amount of people that want to start businesses mm -hmm. and the amount of people with offices outside of Dubai where Dubai is the hub for businesses. So we saw a few people working around us and we came up with the idea, let's connect two of them, the, the oversaturation of, mar of um, restaurants in Dubai mm -hmm. and the expense that is needed just to work somewhere when work is conducted from your laptop anyways. Yeah, and you don't have that much budget because you're exactly, just a yeah, every student startup. or freelancer. Yeah, yeah. so even, even um, like some co-working spaces, they charge a lot of money, but you have to understand they're doing this to cover their, their rent. Mm -hmm. And rent in Dubai is, is naturally high for, for yeah. commercial places. So we thought let's use this dead space where the restaurants are, are not seeing as much footfall as they want. Mm -hmm. So we can convert it into something else. Uh, I read yesterday that uh, Let's Work is a part of E25 initiative, correct? Exactly, yeah. So what is it about and how did you become a part of it? So the E25 is an initiative envisioned by Mohamed Al Abar, which is um, the chairman of uh, AMR Properties. Mm -hmm. So what he wanted to do was to bring people under the age of 25 to come up with different startups that uh, have core competencies within AMR. Mm -hmm. So for example, one of them was look into co-working spaces or look into this, this new new concept, trend yeah. new concept new trend that that hasn't really appro uh, hit the market properly here in in the uae mm -hmm. um, so we did a few feasibility studies and this is how we came up with the model we uh, we saw that there are a lot of a lot of like hotels that are just going empty during the day when they can be utilized and there are beautiful spaces and there are people that work from them so mm -hmm. we wanted to just kind of get the people out of the, the, the coffee shops. Coffee shops. <laughs> I, can't, I can't mention any brand names, but the, the, the usual coffee shops that they don't even want you to be sitting there all day. They rather people to come in, have a coffee and leave. Because the coffee shops and the hotels are usually like quite expensive. So if you go to Starbucks, it's like 20 exactly. dollars. Yeah. In so the hotel, it can be 35, 40. Exactly. So but no, but we, um, so our location specifically, we choose them based on if they work or if, if you can actually work there. Mm -hmm. um, so we go through a, a long process of choosing which location works, which one doesn't. Um, and on top of that, we, we choose places that are fixed to, to actually want to be a part of this, this platform. So we're not going to choose the very high-end restaurants yeah, that are interested. saying, no, no, we, we're not interested mm -hmm. in this. For example, the hotel we're in right now, The Rove, they love it. They, they love the concept and they're very helpful to us. Um, they're always, always coming up with new concepts, new ideas that, that could work and help us. Mm -hmm. uh, we do our, all our events here. So it's, it's finding that good uh, relationship with the partner as well that helps. Rove Hotels is the new concept in Dubai as well. 
like, yeah. uh, as a hotel. Yeah, yeah Rove Hotels is great. Like it's, it, it's needed in the region. The sure. target audience are mostly young people, young generation. Yeah. So new even, thinkers. Yeah. It's very trendy, the, the decor you can see. Yeah. It's a, it's a no thrills hotel, which is just, just what you need. And it's not that expensive, it's exactly. very affordable. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's massive value for the money. Even some of our members who don't know the Rove Hotels, mm -hmm. as soon as they come in here, they think like, oh, well, I didn't even know this existed in Dubai. Yeah, and how many people do you have in your team at the moment? So it's just me, Hamza, and we just hired an intern who's mm -hmm. helping us out with, uh, we say sales and marketing, but in a startup you do everything. So yeah. um, she's uh, like a third person is more than more than what we need. We, <laughs> we were, I don't want to say we were struggling, but we were definitely stretched a bit thin because when we're managing 14 locations um, and we've had quite an influx of people signing up. so. Mm -hmm it's a bit hard to manage even we don't have a customer uh, support line so all the calls like on my way here today i think i had four calls of people asking like oh how can i sign up yeah so stuff. that you mentioned your number in the email that's how <laughs> i get my numbers in, in the with email you. yeah hamza's numbers in the email um yeah i mean it's it's a burden at the same time that we don't have someone just answering the phones but mm -hmm. at the, at, on the other end of it people like hearing like oh this is, oh you're actually the co-founder that's great and then they kind of buy into you not just the, the the business yeah they like you uh you're the co-founder story and the, mm -hmm. the concept behind that um so we i don't know how we're gonna like go of that but um we hope that our voices remain in the business as well yeah and how do you split your responsibilities with hamza um so it's interesting in the beginning obviously we were doing everything and even now, I can still do what, what he does and what mm -hmm. I do. Um, I'm because I'm more engineering based, so I handle the the platform. Mm -hmm. So we have a platform that allows people to sign in, yeah. sign out. Um, so I handle that. I do the design for the website, so I built the website too. Mm -hmm. um, I do the operations. So if anything goes wrong in one of the locations, I'm there to fix it. Um, Hamza does the legal work, so he's a lawyer. He's an ex-lawyer from he he was working in. A company here in the UAE, also in London, but he quit his job to do a startup. But he was also very young, right? He's 25? He's very young, he's 25, yeah. Okay. Um, but he's the same as me, he's very ambitious mm -hmm. to start his own business. Um, and on top of that, he's very good at, I don't know if you see our social media, but he handles all of that. I do the design sometimes, but he handles all the social media and people love the, our, our Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's very interactive, it's yeah, very funny. Yeah, and you repost like the stories. Our so. posts are very funny, he's always making fun of me in the posts. And people, I, I, people love to engage. People love yeah. to engage with it. He always, he always tries to get our, um, our voice in, in the page. So how is it difficult to start a business in Dubai when you are young and you just graduated from the university? Uh, I mean, personally, I had, I've always had a passion to start a business of my own. Mm -hmm. um, I've had different projects when I was in university, which kind of could have led to being a business, but I never, because my studies obviously kept me away from actually starting something. Mm -hmm. I think it's not too, it's, you come up with an idea, a lot of people have that stage and then they don't go further because they're like, oh, there's all the complications of licenses and everything. But you have to understand there's a lot of services and there's a lot of different co-working spaces with accelerator programs that can actually help you mm -hmm. get funding. A lot of the universities here. The UAE is trying to become a startup hub of people starting their own businesses. So it's not that hard. I think the only challenge we face is the licensing. Mm -hmm. It's a bit too pricey. Uh, it's Sometimes it's complicated, but I, like I said, these services actually can help you. So actually, if you have a great idea, you can find an investor for that. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's always, there's so many investors here. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, the Step Conference in uh, March is a perfect example of that. There's a lot of cool ideas there that we saw, and uh, there's a lot of uh, people that that want to invest in businesses here because it's, I like to call it as the the, the slowly growing giant. It's 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 becoming very pop. Dubai is becoming very popular, and a lot of big mm -hmm. companies are coming out of it. Like we see Kareem. We see Noon, we see Fetcher, these companies are becoming huge and they grew from here as well. So actually, uh, but you need to start a business and then look for an investor or you can uh, even have just an idea and pitch it to the investors? Both, both. So if, you, if you're lucky enough to be able to fund your own idea, mm -hmm. um, I like to tell people just keep it very simple and very minimal. Uh, people like to do like, oh no, I'm paying 20,000 dirhams for a website, it's, it doesn't make sense validate the concept first, see if people work. Mm -hmm. So I give you an example of what we did at, at Let's Work. We started in one location and we gathered 20 people. 
Mm-hmm. We asked them. We asked. We managed like, to find like 20 a members. focus group. Yeah, really? just a focus group. We yeah. they were already working around, and I found some people in coffee shops, and I told them, sit here, pay for a monthly membership, and work. Um, mm-hmm. And it worked out great. They they loved the concept, and they were my first. And some of them are still with us today. Um, they were the first people that actually believed in the concept and like, no, this is this is what the region needs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and even without the multiple locations, it was just one, and and people liked it. Oh. And uh, I have so many subscribers. They don't live in the V, but they have some uh, great ideas. Do they think? And can they find an investor here if they come? Yeah, I think um, you have to understand it's different markets in different mm-hmm. places. So an idea abroad might not work as well here. Yeah, you need to know. Or them. might need some yeah. time. Um, I think come. I think if they can come, validate it, and get some get some feedback on it. Attend these wor- uh, networking. Uh, there's so many entrepreneur networking mm-hmm. uh, places uh, and events and stuff. Get an idea of is it feasible? Does it make sense? And then start looking for an investor if if you need it. Mm-hmm. And how many do loca- uh, locations do you have at the moment? Fourteen as of now. Fourteen. Fourteen. We um, we're planning to extend to twenty, hopefully, mm-hmm. um, by the end of this year. I think if we go further than that, it might uh, might stretch it too thin. Mm-hmm. Um, but obviously, the more the merrier. Um, we're just yeah. trying to, because what we see when we open a location, we hit a community. Yeah. Uh, certain, like even here in uh, the marina, mm-hmm. we hit the marina area where everyone, a lot of freelancers, a lot of startups live in marina. Yeah. So this was perfect. And even we have two locations here, one in Pier the Pier 7, seven and, and this one. Yeah. And uh, what, is, what are your favorite places? No, I can't <laughs> say that. Um, I mean, Everywhere, every, everywhere has its niche. Mm-hmm. Um, so the Rove hotels, people love it. It's it's very millennial. It's 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 I'd say it's built for working, in my yeah. opinion. Um, it's perfect. But then you have the other places like uh, Parlor Boutique, mm-hmm. uh, which so in I the like. Design district. That's yeah. no, that's in uh, the Trade Center. So Parlor Boutique oh. is very uh, French, very a lot of light, um, and it's very minimalist, which is mm-hmm. kind of my style. So I like that too. D three is very fun. Um, it, like just walking around there is, is, is very, it's like funky. Like it's funky. Like you're not you're not in Dubai anymore when you're in D3, and the restaurant there, Molecule, is perfect. The food is amazing. Um, I like I like being outdoors. So when in the winter, a lot of the different places you'll see will start to promote them. Because when we first started, we started in February, mm-hmm. so the weather was okay. So we used to sit outside. So Pier Seven is beautiful. The the scene you can actually see outside. Yeah. And like you can it. sit outside. We had. We used to have one day where we have all our meetings just out there on the table and people loved it. It was it was different. It was like a breath of fresh air. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs>
like oh, are we in a good state mm -hmm. is this good what we're doing is this helping me as a person is this helping you um, are you growing in your career so obviously this is my first official job coming out of university so it is scary I mean uh, I studied engineering for five years but I'm not doing anything to do with engineering necessarily mm -hmm. so it's like did I waste my degree or am I doing something different oh, and but you know how to uh, create the website how yeah, I, yeah, you learn that. Build on, the platform. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you learn that on. The, yeah. There's there's a lot of um, there's a lot of skills you you mm -hmm. use without realizing it. Um, yeah. But I think you have your whole life to work. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a passion for something, you should do it. You shouldn't uh, don't overthink it. Yeah, yeah. Just move forward. Just move to forward. achieve your exactly. goals. Yeah. And um, what are your plans for? Plans. At least till the end of this year. Yeah, there's a lot we have in mind. We have um, we have an app that mm -hmm. we're developing right now, uh, which is a lot of work. But uh, we're designing it. it. It will change. It will change a lot of things. Um, we've taken a lot of feedback. Obviously, mm -hmm. we work from our spaces, so we like to speak to um, our customers, our members, the community. We like to speak to them, and uh, from that we get uh, we get like different. Um, everyone's trying to help everyone, so they tell us like, oh, you should do this. You should do this. I don't like this, um, I really like this. So we're just trying to build something together. We had the MVP, which is this, just this simple sign in, sign out. Mm -hmm. We wanted to keep it as simple as possible. And hopefully we'll roll something out very soon. Um, I can't really say what the app is, I want to keep it as a surprise, but mm -hmm. once it's there, it, it, it will change a lot. Do you have uh, any competitors like that do similar? Uh, similar services? Yeah, I mean, okay. it, it's you, Dubai. It's you don't need to tell the yeah, names. But um, I mean, How are you trying to compete with them? Like, you're thinking about some new services? Um, how, how am I trying to compete with my competitors? I mean, we were the first ones to do this in the region. Um, so I don't see any, I see, I don't want to say copycats, but I, it, it's a free market. It's a concept mm -hmm, that's, yeah. that's well known around the mm -hmm. world. It's new. Um, so once people saw what we were doing, people wanted to copy us too. Which is fine, I think the more the merrier. It, it, it allows the concept to be understood more. Yeah. Um, how can we get the one up from them? I think it's still the same thing going back to the Instagram. It's, it's Hamza and I's voice. It's, it's, it's how people. How do you connect? Yeah, how do we connect with our, how much do we care about this and how much do we give in to our members? I mean, even I have, like, we've had the, we've had some ridiculous requests, like people calling, like, um, I've had people ask me, like, how do I set up a business? I have no idea, <laughs> but I've heard enough to, to, to help them out. And mm -hmm. I have enough connections from the community. To help people out so it's just like how much effort do you want to put in i could have easily said like no sorry we're a co-working space but no we, we try to push mm -hmm. as much as we can and um, people have people always have event ideas and stuff and we love to we love to hear about that even within our community so for example i know a, a few graphic designers i know a few freelance photographers so whenever someone actually asks me whether i'm inside doing my work or outside i'll mm -hmm. always try to recommend someone that i know because we have that huge uh, pool of different, uh, of diverse professions. Mm -hmm. um, and we need to make use of that a bit more, which is, might be what the app is about. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's pretty much it. That's, yeah. that's our edge. In order to get a freelance license, do you need to present your like, business plan or marketing plan idea? Um, I think, I'm not really sure on that, but no, I don't think, because if you're a freelancer, you're essentially the, the, like a graphic designer or web designer, so you're service based. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think, or events planning, for example. Mm -hmm. I don't think you need a business plan, I think you just need the valid credentials, valid documents, and then you apply for it. Okay. Uh, you were studying abroad, did you think to uh, move to, to another country, don't come back to the UE? Uh, I mean, the UAE is my home, but um, I, I wanted to, I, I worked in, uh, in Dell EMC in Boston for mm -hmm. a couple of months. I was um, a global supply chain hardware tester. So how was your experience in the corporate structure? Yeah, I, I mean, it was a lot of fun just applying all the stuff I learned, mm -hmm. which was, uh, it was interesting. Um, I liked it personally. I was dealing with like big machinery. I was in a lab all day. Um, corporate though is very, I, if I if I have to compare the lifestyle, corporate was very like okay. I come in at nine. I I look at the clock. Once yeah. It's done at five, but then sometimes we stay later, obviously. Um, then I go home, mm -hmm. and then when I'm home, that's it. 
start of lifestyle, it's the weekend, it's after I come home from work, it's... Uh, you meet much more people. You meet yeah. a lot more people. My mm -hmm. network now has grown massively compared to when I was in a corporate lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, as well as that, no one's, no one's on your back. I think one thing startups need to do is self-motivate. Yeah, this is the hardest thing. That's I the think. hardest thing, is, is actually like, why am I doing this? Like, no one's, no one's gonna, like, if I don't wake mm -hmm. up this morning and go to work, who's gonna say anything to me? So let's work offers like three different packages yeah. at the moment. Um, what is the difference? So the daily we just we took a, a normal day in a coffee shop. How you'd end up spending like 50 dirhams. So we thought uh, from two perspectives. One, if someone's already in our location mm -hmm. without knowing about Let's Work, and they come there planning on working, the Rove is a perfect example of that. We give them the value for their money by giving them 39 dirhams. Mm -hmm. They get the unlimited tea, coffee and water, 20% discount off the food and they get our, um, we have our own Wi-Fi network which is faster. It's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, it's, uh, people, uh, the daily is one of our most popular obviously because mm -hmm. people want to try it out. Um, and then we have the weekly which is actually one member when we first started told us this when um, they're like I work outside the country but I'm here seven days a week. Mm -hmm. So we're like okay perfect let's have a flexi option for people to have um, just seven sign-ins throughout the month, which is, I think, more than enough. And it's still like very, very valuable for your money. It's 209 dirhams. Mm -hmm. So with that, you can sign into any seven locations, and um, if you have 31 days to redeem it, and you can do with it what you want. Does it include any extra services? No, it's the same it's as the, the daily, like just the a bit uh, of a lower. Cheaper. Yeah, yeah a bit cheaper. Mm -hmm. And then our, I think the most, the best value for the money is the the monthly. Obviously, it's 490. It's good, I think, for some freelancers who work freelancers, on daily basis. Yeah, freelancers for... Uh, even we've ha we have a lot of people that actually have offices of their own, but they mm -hmm. come work in our spaces. So that was the um, why we thought of that. It's, it's priced at one coffee a day. So yeah. if you're going to work every day, it comes out to like 20 dirhams a day. Um, and that one has a few more benefits, mm -hmm. where it's the same unlimited tea, coffee and water, um, and 20% discount off the food. On top of that, you get a U by MR silver tier card, mm -hmm. which uh, is the loyalty program run by MR. So that gets you discounts in uh, MR outlets. MR outlets, right? The restaurants, mm -hmm. the, the some of the uh, the kidsania and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then on top of that, you get meeting room usage. So these beautiful meeting rooms, you get two hours of them. And um, all Let's Work members get the preferential rates for meeting rooms that we've negotiated with the hotels. But um, the cool thing about the meeting rooms is it's not just like a private meeting room for yourself. We've had people do events with the two hours. We've had people do workshops and then mm -hmm. they add an hour. Uh, even they come to us and they say, hey, can we do an, a co-branded event? We're like, yeah, perfect. We'll, we'll help you guys out. That's really cheap. Like. So what three advices you can give to the young generation to start their own business? Uh, I think the first one, don't overthink it. Mm -hmm. um, don't think of every possible scenario, possible. So that's number one. Um, to elaborate on that, don't. So we've had so many assumptions before we even launched, which don't make any sense right now because yeah. a thousand came up after. Uh, number two, I think I, I always say, keep it simple. Um, we're very, we're a very simple business. We're not. It's not complicated for people to to wrap their heads around. It's a work easy to understand. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's not much, there's no layers to it. It's just mm -hmm. very, sign up, sign in. Very clear. Enjoy. <laughs> exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, number three, try not to do it alone. Mm -hmm. uh, find someone that can help you with it because startup life is lonely sometimes. Yeah, you need support. You need support. You need someone there to actually help you, whether it's a co-founder, whether it's a mentor. Find mm -hmm. someone to give you a second perspective. And on push things. you every day. And push you every day, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, you need someone to motivate you. Um, and also, you might think in a certain way, but you have to think from the customer's perspective. Mm -hmm. So I might think, oh, this is going to be perfect, but and I'm going to end up spending a lot of money on it. And then the customer's like, no, I actually, I actually don't want that. Mm -hmm. um, so have someone to bring a second perspective, have someone to motivate you. So guys, this was one of the Dubai success stories. I hope you find it inspiring. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.